Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to make a team barrier inside of Roblox Studio. So let's get started. Alright guys, so what you guys want to do first is create your two teams or as many teams as you want. So we're going to go over to the teams folder inside of Explorer. I'm going to add a team. Let's duplicate this. We're going to add two teams. And we're going to name one to team blue and the other one to team red. Next, you want to go ahead and select your, your team colors. Uh, if it's team red, just choose any type of red. If it's team blue, same thing. Uh, what you guys want to do now is we're going to create our two barriers. All right, guys, so here are, are our barriers. I'll just name one to red barrier and the next one to, to, to blue barrier. Uh, I also made it a little transparent just so we can go right through it. Right now, make sure and make sure can collide is on. You don't have to turn and we don't have to change any settings. But what you guys want to do now is go over to the model tab. And we're going to click on collision groups. We're just going to close our exploring properties for now because we don't need them. And as you can see, what you guys want to do these, I don't know why it still shows me. I'll just delete these. And so it's going to show it you. It's going to show you the menu like this. What you guys want to do is add a group. We're going to name this to red. So we're going to name whatever your teams you have. Press enter. And then we're going to add another one for blue. Because these are the two teams we have. If you have red, blue, purple, do red, blue, and then another purple or yellow or whatever. And then what you guys want to do is go, let's say uh, I'm on team red. So select team red. Oh, don't change the name. Select team red. And you want to untick red over here. So that, that means that. A person, a player on the red team will not collide with the red part, right? Same thing with blue. If it's you select the blue team and un un uh, check the blue option. Next, what you want to what you do is open up Explorer and Properties once again. And we're going to go back to the red barrier. And in the properties, we're going to change the team. Uh, or sorry, not uh, team to the collision group to red. Just select it. And the same thing with the blue. We're going to change the collision group to blue. And that's it. Now, we're going to go and add a script inside of server script service. And start scripting. Alright guys, so that is the script done. Uh, the AI script editor just finished this whole part for me. Um, but that's basically, that's what you guys want to do. Um, and that's it. So now what you want to do, by the way, yeah, the script, there are no changes. You don't have to change anything. doesn't matter what your barrier names are. It's just the same thing for everything, for every like different option. But yeah, now you want to close off the script and now we can go test the game. Now automatically the game will add me into a random team. So let's say it added me into blue right now. So because I'm on the blue team, I cannot enter the red barrier. I can't enter go I can't go through it. But because I'm also on the blue team, I can go through the blue barrier. Now let's go to test. Let's go to current client. Um and then we're gonna go to the players. Select my character. Let's open up the teams folder real quick. And we're gonna change my team to red go back to the game so now i'm on team red now i can't go through the blue um barrier but i can go through the red barrier and that's basically for this video so hopefully you guys did enjoy 
Uh, if you have got, if you guys have any video ideas, comment down in the section below, and you will get a shout out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.